what is Rusali and what sort of catalyzed you starting that company? Yeah, so I was working on a research project um, and I was interviewing a lot of C-level executives and small business owners. And one of the things that I learned and my colleague who was working with me on this project was um, they tended to have this, the same challenges when it came to social media or their personal brand. Um, the first group were risk averse. So they weren't quite sure what they should be sharing, uh, what they should be posting, what were the right hashtags. They actually thought that they might get in trouble if they post the wrong content, they could you know, end up on the news, any, any sort of, you know, we saw these sort of uh, strange stories of people getting in trouble at work uh, for things that they did on social media. Um, so that was that was one group. They, they just stayed off of social media that cost them opportunities. Uh, the second group were people who understood the value of social media and posting content and you know positioning themselves as an authority, as a subject matter expert, building trust, building credibility. Uh, but the challenge was for a lot of professionals and small business owners and executives, they simply don't have the time to consistently write content, source content, curate content, um, and understand, you know, the best days and times to post. And so those folks, they tended to have sort of a, they'd be on one week, they'd be gone for two weeks, they'd be on one week again. That was, that was the second group. The third group were individuals, uh, usually C-level executives who uh, would outsource their content to, you, you know, uh, overseas. The challenge was, those individuals that was that were doing and managing content for a C-level executive in the United States, they didn't necessarily know or have the, the level of sophistication necessary to post on brand content. So, you know, let's say you're a chief financial officer, you've got somebody overseas posting images of rainbows and kittens and, you know, unicorns. It's not the right, you know, vibe. And so we thought to ourselves, if we could create an algorithm that based on who you are, what you do, your LinkedIn profile, who who your connections are, what type of content they're sharing, commenting on, uh, et cetera. We can then pull in content, curate content, post on the right times, on the right days that generally um, engages uh, your audience in, in a way that you, as an executive whose sole job is, you know, whose talent lies outside of posting content on social media, um, we could build your brand for a nominal amount of money, right? So our focus was, you know, how do we um, keep our clients and executives and small business owners um, building their brand, growing their brand without them having to invest a lot of time and money?